<laughs> hey everybody, I'm Joshua. And I am Caleb. We're brothers and we love each other so much. Guys, the internet is a terrifying place. Scary. You should never go. There's never. evil things everywhere. No. Wait, 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 we're on the internet. You should always go to good <laughs> things on the internet. That's why we're here. We're here to bring a little hope, a little, you know, good. To That's this right. Place. This is our only vehicle to speak with you guys. Uh, go to our Jewish Roots social media. We have exciting new series coming up by August Rosado. Uh, you've probably seen them on um, our programs before our Jewish Roots. You've uh, seen them being interviewed by the Hearts. Uh, this guy has his degree in biblical eschatology. He knows Bible prophecy. He has a ministry called Today in Bible Prophecy. And he's going to be doing a series called Bible Prophecy. Yes, it is. And, and it's great. Uh, August, he's, a, he's an amazing man of God. He loves the Lord. He goes to Israel in our To the Jew First mission, along with Dr. Todd Baker. Y'all guys know Todd. He has another internet series uh, called Faith Foundations. You got to watch that also. And we have uh, Dr. Jeffrey Seif on our Jewish Roots television program. So we have a lot of amazing things that you can find on the internet to learn about the Word of God. And that means there are good things. That's and true. I, and I'm glad that he studied eschatology because I can't spell it and it's weird. Eschatology. Es es yeah, it's a crazy well, thing. But sometimes, uh, you, like I said, you can look up stuff on the internet. And I found an amazing uh, message recently by the late David Wilkerson. Oh, I love him. Um, and it was, it was a message called Men of Another Sort. Mm. And in this message, he was asking the question, where are those amazing people of faith in the Bible who laid on their side for 365 days, Ezekiel. who fasted and prayed for 40 days, um, who shook kingdoms and did all mm. these amazing things? Uh, were they different and special? And can we ever live up to those lofty expectations now? Well, 1 Corinthians 10, verse 11. Yeah. These things happened to them as examples and were written down as warnings for us on whom the culminations of the ages has come. Oh, interesting. They're examples. They are examples, whether for good or bad. We have the Hebrews Hall of Faith. In right. Hebrews chapter 11, we have uh, uh, Abel, we have Moses, we have Joshua, Caleb, we have women, Rahab, and, and we have all these people that lived as examples. But um, how can we uh, lived up to these lofty expectations of these giants of old? Um, did they have some kind of special power? Did God oh. love them more? Um, and where are those people today? Because we really need them now. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Where did everybody go? Come on, guys. So the real question is, where are you? Oh. And why aren't you filling those shoes in I now? Get it. How can that be possible? I don't care if we mirror uh, David Wilkerson's message. It's amazing. God, it's God's message. It is. And we mirror by example. Um, quick rundown of history of David Wilkerson, Josh. Um, Times Square he, Church. He started Times Square Church. He was an evangelist. Uh, who went through the streets of New York City when it was not safe. No, it was a tumultuous place. It was. There was uh, gang violence and yes, warfare going on all the time. There was sex shops on every corner. Yeah. And he decided to go in there, it was one man, and to witness to these these gangs. That's right. And he got one of the, the head guys saved, Nicky Cruz. Nicky Cruz. And that kind of the changed the whole culture right there and it enabled did. him as a springboard to really have a, a powerful ministry. That's true. And uh, in that area of Times Square mm -hmm. where everything was its worst, he set up Times Square Church and That's everything right. started changing. And he uh, co-founded uh, a ministry. Um, our director and producer, Kenneth Berg, his Ooh. father, Reverend R. Stanley Berg, co-founded with David Wilkerson the ministry Teen Challenge, which gets uh, drug addicts off the street, which gets gang members off the street. And it's a deliverance ministry and, and teaches them the ways of God and how to live rightly. Um, Steve Hill came out of that. Steve Hill was uh, an alum of, of that um ministry. That's right. Um, and he had a very powerful ministry, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, didn't start, but really kind of culminated in the mm -hmm. Brownsville revival that we saw back That's in right. 1995. Yeah. I had the opportunity to work for his ministry for several years That's when right. he transitioned from Florida here to Texas. Yeah. And uh, he has since gone to, to be with the Lord again. Um, but we saw so many amazing things happen uh, just from that man's ministry. But all that stuff is dead, right? Uh, that stuff doesn't happen. These no. amazing uh, wonders and miracles and things of God. No, we've seen this all. And Joel 2.28 says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. That's for today. I yeah. know Peter spoke that on the day of Pentecost. People say, oh, no, that was just for the time of Pentecost. No, that's the time of now. We're still in that time period now where we have that power of the Holy Spirit and the power that Yeshua gave us, like he said in John 14. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also and greater works mm -hmm. on these will he do because I go to my Father. Wow, greater works than Yeshua. So 
we go back to that question, why did God choose these men of old? What made them different, these, these men and women of legacy? Mm. And I think we can find the answer in Ezra. Ezra 7.10 says, For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord mm. and to do it, and to teach the statutes and the ordinance in Israel. He set his heart to this decision. Mm. This was not an arbitrary choice of the father to go, yeah. Ah, Ezra, I like your name. Bro, come here, let me show you what to do. It specifically denotes that Ezra set his heart, his mind, and then his actions mm. perpetuated that. And from that, he was used. So that's it. That's one simple yep. thing. He sought the word. We're talking about the Bible, the Word of God, and uh, we're the Bearded Bible Brothers. We want you to read the Word, but you don't need the Spirit-filled revival, the Great Awakening. You don't need someone else to be awesome and you follow his example and he's your mentor. It's your All responsibility. You need, yeah, it's, it's a choice you have to make to seek the Lord. Yep. And we've seen those great ministers of God who did that very thing in God. God gave them power and God gave them authority and they changed the world. But isn't it interesting, Josh, that you hardly ever see that same anointing from these great men of God pass on to their children? That is very interesting. It, it doesn't. Some it, of those greats have some really gnarly sons. <laughs> and, and you may say, well, you know, children are different. They have different callings and giftings. Well, it's all because uh, it's a personal choice. Right. You cannot choose for your children whether they're going to follow God or not. You have to lead them by example. You can see that in the Bible with the godly king Hezekiah. He's awesome. And then his son Manasseh. Super not awesome. The worst king in all of Judah's history, guys. It was absolutely atrocious. But because he chose not to. Yeah. It didn't transfer down from his father because he did not make That's the choice right. to live the same lifestyle that his right. father did. And so um, you've heard of pastor's kids being notorious for falling wayward and not doing what their PKs. parents have. PKs. Um, guys, that's because sometimes when you're seeking God, when you're fulfilling God's calling, you let your family go by the wayside. You need to Oops. integrate yourself into your family's life and be that example. And yes, yeah, sometimes they will go wayward, but your prayers of intercession, they're not going to go unanswered. There's a greater chance of them following the Lord. If you, um, if you go, that, that, that's a calling that everybody has been given who's a yes. father or mother, and that's to raise your children. Yep. And it's ever so important because the enemy, when he wants to get to you, he's going to use your children first. Right. He's going he's gonna to create a fifth column within your camp and try to take you down by wiping out your children. So you need that hedge of protection around your family. And when Jeremiah you're 29, God. 11 mm. through 14 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, That's plans right. to prosper you and mm. not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a the future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Mm -hmm. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. That's I right. will be found by you, declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6, says, But seek the f first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things are added unto you. Notice the, the repetition of what is said on how you acquire this. Yeah. In Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, When you seek me, and then I'll listen to you. And if you seek me, I'll listen yeah. to you. And by the way, when you seek me, you'll find me, and I'll find you. People think that's really vague. How do you seek God? His Word. Yep. Are you reading His Word? Are you, are you, are you following what's written in His Word? Uh, it's really hard to sin if you're reading the Bible every day and you read that commandment that says, don't do this. And then when you try to go do that, the Holy Spirit says, uh-uh, don't you remember what you read? Because the word is food and it goes into you and it fills you and it strengthens you. And it gives you that strength to fight off the enemy and to walk in his way. So it's great. All these amazing things. When you seek God, he will touch you. You will be found by him if you're seeking him with your whole heart, but you don't seek the things. You don't seek the acts. You don't seek the works. You're seeking Him. And all those other things are great. It's great, the miracles and, and leading people yeah. to Messiah and all these things. But, but nothing can be more awesome and more important than hearing God's voice and, and speaking to Him and face to face. Remember, it's your time. When I was young, I used to say, well, you know, that's awesome, but um, Billy Graham will do it. It's his job. Or that's yeah. awesome, and so-and-so will do it. And, and the fact of the matter is, guys, those guys that you've read about, the mm -hmm. David Wilkerson's, the Billy Graham's and whatnot, mm -hmm. they have fulfilled their calling. Yeah. Most of them started when they were younger than you are today mm -hmm. and were relentless and pursued. And that's why you've even heard of the efforts that they've had for God. Mm -hmm. But now is your time. That's right. It's your time to step out and to seek the Father. And it's your time to pursue the calling and the ministry that mm -hmm. He wants to utilize through you. That's right. All of the men and women that came before us are there cheering us on today that's right. from the heaven. Witnesses. The cloud of witnesses is watching down and looking on you and their hope, I know they'd say this if you could hear them today, mm -hmm. isn't that you would just marvel at the ministry they had, yeah. but it's that you would use that as an inspiration, as a launching point for you now to dive into the Word of God, to be ravenous for the things of mm -hmm. God, to not be willing to be stopped and to pursue the plans that He has for you and to That's make right. a difference on this planet. So guys, you know what to do? Get in the Word 
and join us next time. We love you. We love you. Fiji don't stop spinning. The game's just beginning. It's time. Okay, man. Ah.